Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I released the video. Uh, I've been extremely busy, but I have a new milling machine now. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an overview of this machine. There's not a lot of information on the internet about this machine, um, although there are a few kicking around Australia. And I think it's a very good machine for the vet for what you pay, which you probably won't get much change out of about 40,000 Australian dollars. Um, it's the OptiMill F80. Um, it's a German design machine and it's made in China and Taiwan, as I understand. It's got a 10,000 RPM spindle, 10, uh, 10 tool automatic tool changer, flood coolant, uh, automatic lubrication. It's got a nice working envelope of 400 millimeters by 250 millimeters on the X and Y and a 400 millimeter Z height. So, decent envelope for, for this machine. It's got a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, which is a lot of power, and it's capable of rigid tapping, which I personally love. I've never experienced rigid tapping before. Um, and a Siemens uh, 808D industrial interface or controller, which is very user friendly and um, very polished. It's very nice coming from Mac 3. Um, yeah, so the machine is just running great. I've had it for about two weeks now. I've uh, been ripping some chips with a big 80 millimeter face mill. Um, doing some really precise sort of 3D machining. Made a couple of components now, um, and yeah, they're just beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, machine very accurate, so super happy with it. Um, it's definitely a machine you could consider if you're looking at like a Skyfire, a big Skyfire machine, or a Tormac milling machine. Um, I think it's sort of, it's more expensive than those machines, but for what you get, it's, it's very refined. You won't need to modify anything when you get it. Um, so yeah, I'll chuck in the, some shots of us machining some components um, and you, you'll be able to hear the machine and, and see it in action. Um, if you guys have any additional questions about this machine, you're looking at getting one or you're just curious about it, just post in the comment box below um, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, and I'll also post a link to the machine so you can do more reading on it. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned on my channel for a couple more videos, I might do some of my personal projects and make some cool little tools and things like that. So yeah, hopefully I'll catch up with you guys again soon.